Okay, so let's talk a little bit about testing for COVID-19, the virus. The COVID-19 virus is now in Jamaica and one of the most common questions I get asked is, Mario, where can I get tested? Can I go and be tested? Can I go to a private lab? Can I come to your office and be tested? And the answer is no. For COVID-19 testing in Jamaica, it is being done in a centralized way through our government, through the Ministry of Health and Wellness. And I'm going to talk a little bit about why they have probably chosen that route. But let me tell you a bit about the actual test. So I might have symptoms. I might have a runny nose. I might have a cough. I might have a fever. I think I have COVID. What is the test? Well, there are three main tests that are being done and they're swabs. They do a nasopharyngeal swab where they push a swab stick with a piece of cotton on the tip of like a plastic kind of um, stick and they push it up into the nostril to the back of the nasopharynx to the back of the nose and the pharynx will be the back of the throat and they take a swab and they put in the swab medium which preserves the virus for testing and they also take a oropharyngeal swab oro refers to the mouth oral and the pharynx will be the back of the throat. So two swabs are taken, nasopharyngeal and oropharyngeal swab. Another thing that can be tested is what we call in medicine the sputum. Sputum in Jamaica is coal, mucus, where you cough up. So if you can bring up a sample of coal, then the mucus or sputum can be sent for testing. What type of test is done on these materials once it's collected? Well, it's PCR testing, so they're actually testing for the virus. It is not an antibody test, it is a viral test for the viral component using PCR, polymerase chain reaction. Lots of big terms, but the long and short of it is that we are using one lab in Jamaica that would be the National Public Health Lab, which is our national lab which means that all tests have to be directed through our government. Why won't they allow you to test elsewhere? Many reasons. No one told me this from the ministry. This is just me also just kind of, as a doctor, postulating some of the logical things. From a number standpoint, from a statistical standpoint, it is very nice to have a centralized place to collect samples so that when you have positive tests you can actually have an accurate count that you can distribute to the populace so that you can actually have a good hold on who is, who is positive and who is negative in a timely fashion. That's one reason. The second reason is that testing kits are limited and I'm sure they're probably very expensive which means that we don't have an unlimited resource of testing kits in Jamaica which means that who you choose to be tested has to be done in a very streamlined and focused way. Three, how do I become someone who can be tested? As the disease progresses, the criteria are going to change as it spreads throughout the world and throughout your own um, region. But there are testing criteria and you need to fit the criteria of that of a suspected case for the government to decide that you require testing. What is a suspected case? Currently, a suspected case would be someone who has had recent travel to one of the banned territories. But Mario, the virus is in other countries that aren't banned. That means that people could have it and we don't know a lot of what we're going to do. You're very correct. People could have it who were on other flights. It's very possible. But given the limitations, we have to stick to a criteria. And that means travel to one of the countries that was banned on the banned list and that would have been 14 days. And um, the second one would be symptoms, fever and respiratory symptoms. Most common respiratory symptoms being cough and shortness of breath. And the third one, which is one of the main ones, would be known contact with someone who had tested positive for COVID-19. Let's recap that again. It's a whole lot. Suspected case definition, recent travel to banned country right and of course you know this 14 day thing is happening so it would means mean that you would enter jamaica within 14 days of travel to one of these countries and it would mean that you could potentially develop symptoms within 14 days of travel to said country and two symptoms fever respiratory symptoms which would be cough shortness of breath are the common ones not that others won't present and three known contact with someone who had tested positive in this case so far we would have a patient zero no, with a patient one, patient two, and as we increase, the numbers will increase, and that will put you into that category. 
How do I get involved as a doctor based on the suspected criteria? The ministry has, again, created a system where they have a hotline. And what that means is that if you fit into this criteria, you call their hotline and they will organize for you to be tested. They will give you advice as to whether you need to stay home and quarantine or whether you need to be isolated in a government facility or otherwise. Again, centralized, focused, controlled by the ministry. Again, there are many, many, many really smart reasons for this. So don't think that is ridiculous or it's stupid or it's bad. It's actually very streamlined. So I want you to respect the choice of the ministry and work with them, right? Another way that I function as a doctor in terms of streamlining you into the ministry is that if I am your doctor and you're my patient, you are going to call me for advice. I may very well tell you to stay home and call the ministry, but that's fine. At least you have a centralized place where you can get a resource of information. Another important thing is if I decide based on the criteria that you should stay at your yard, then at least we can communicate to see how you are progressing because most people are going to recover from the illness and be fine. But if for any reason you deteriorate, if you develop worse symptoms, then I can then also be your guide to say, hey, call the ministry now, you need to get to a hospital now, and we can help to expedite and facilitate that. But what you need to know is don't run into your doctor's office for a test because your doctor will not be able to do it. Which brings me to why your doctor cannot do it. Because COVID-19 virus is something that is spread by droplet, when this oropharyngeal and nasopharyngeal swab and sputum is being generated, there is a risk of droplet spread to the doctor. You could potentially infect the doctor, which means that said doctor or person who is taking the sample needs to be appropriately dressed in personal protective equipment, PPEs, right? These include things like gloves, gowns, goggles, face mask, and face shield, right? And all of this is important. There are specific ways to put them on and specific ways to take them off. And the doctor or person taking the sample needs to be properly and appropriately covered because when they push you something in your nose and in your throat and it broke off and they put it into the sample medium and it splash and it flash up in your face, poor doctor could get infected, eye, nose, and mouth. So that's why you need to talk to the ministry so that they can facilitate your testing and do it in a very organized, streamlined, and safe way for both you and your doctor and anybody else around, all right? So guys, no, you cannot run into our office to be tested. No biomedical, no central labs, no private lab facilities, no public facilities. You cannot even go to the National Public Health Lab to be tested. In summary, the only way you can be tested in Jamaica at this point in time is to fit into the suspected criteria. Once you fit into the criteria for a suspected case, you will call the hotline numbers, which I'll give you at the end of this video. But the main one is 888-1-LOVE, but there are a series of other numbers. You call the number and you identify and the ministry will take it from there. All right, guys, so just remember that we have more videos coming where I'll talk about more things about COVID-19 and ensure that you know what's popping and that you're clear, you understand where I'm going. Medicine with me, your boy, Dr. MG. Keep it locked. Subscribe!